Hi, and welcome to the Incredible Life of Cat. I have my camera woman here, Miss Sida, Hello. who is helping me. And if you guys want to, um, you can hop on my Instagram and, which is at the Incredible Life of Cat, I believe, I think, and uh, see a video of her and my dog. It snowed. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, I have been, like I've mentioned in a few videos, working on self-care. So self-care isn't the same for everybody. It's not just, you know, taking a shower, doing your makeup, face stuff, and things like that. Are your pants falling down? <laughs> oh. Um, for me, you know, it's also exercise, what I'm eating, taking care of myself, doing things around my house, cleaning, you know, changing my clothes, trying to wear all the clothes in my closet, things like that. Okay, Steve Urkel. <laughs> Speaking of Steve Urkel, are you watching him? Um, since I had COVID in 2021, I really have not felt like myself. And this is the first time since then I've really gotten on the self-care bandwagon. I, I've been feeling burnt out, tired, not exercising. This is the first time I really have been consistent in a while. And it started in October and stopped in October because... You know, I was doing things, walks, trying to make myself feel better, wanting to feel like myself again. And then I pulled like something, the sciatic whole thing started bugging me. So I stopped for about a month and then in November, I kind of picked things back up. And since the weather gets either really hot, really cold, there's not really the season of fall and the season of spring where it's nice to walk outside is short around here. So I started working out and things. So I wanted to give you guys an update on that. If you guys want information on that or want to know what I'm really doing, comment on this video and let me know. Um, I am not going to sell you a diet. I'm not on a particular diet. Um, I can't bring myself to completely cut out food groups. That's just not something I care for. I don't find it to be sustainable. So for me, this is not a health journey or a self-care journey because a journey to me kind of implies that there is an ending to it. This is just a routine that I've started. Routines that I'm doing. I'm trying to keep myself in check to feel like myself because when I feel better, when I'm feeling good, I'm, you know, it, it serves a purpose. It serves my family better than, than how it had been in the past. So and I'm happier, I'm less grumpy, I'm not as tired, and that's kind of important to me too. And it's not just about losing weight or gaining weight or those things, but it's about being nice to myself, taking care of myself, taking time for myself. I do my nails, I do my feet, I do Sita's nails, I do her feet. Um, you know, making the time to do those things self-care taking care of your family can kind of be self-care when it's something that you want to do but i don't feel like if i'm not taking care of myself i'm probably not taking very good care of my home or my family so that's kind of where i am <laughs> right now we are just getting over a cold i didn't have anything planned to tape we all got like a cold flu situation going on we're Stop feeling better me. yeah no you have it but she's still hanging on to her cough. Um, yeah, if you guys want to hear more about that, I thought about posting like what I'm wearing that day sometimes. I wear a lot of leggings, a lot of insane leggings. I don't have big gym outfits because literally all my exercise is usually done here in my office before work, after work. So I wear leggings and I do have a lot of LuLaRoe leggings. I like them. Most of the time, not recent pairs, but that's because their sizing got real weird. But I, I know wear like Walmart brand leggings. I'm not like the crazy gym outfits and everything, but it's kind of fun to see what I'm wearing every day, maybe. Um, might share a recipe or two if I find something fun. I got a crock pot for my birthday Christmas gift, one of them, and I've been doing a lot with that lately. And also, I didn't go all crazy cutting crap out of my diet. Um, I eat the same thing my family eats for dinner. Sita doesn't always eat the same thing my family eats for dinner, but the same thing that I'm cooking that night, I'm going to be eating. I don't do two separate meals. I don't do a bunch of proteins and smoothies and everything else. 
I do concentrate on being hydrated enough and that makes a huge difference. But yeah, I don't want this to be like a fitness content channel because that is not where I'm going. I do want to sh share what I do for self-care, whether it is, hey, I'm wearing a face mask today or look at this pair of leggings I'm wearing today or this is, you know, I used my mini stepper because I got to order one of those yesterday, that kind of thing. So I just wanted to give you guys kind of an update to what's been going on. I know I've mentioned it a little bit here and there and, you know, share with you guys what I'm doing and what I'm using for myself and I'm not expecting anybody to do the same thing. Um, I've seen a lot of videos lately about diet culture, people heading down the wrong, wrong path, red flags, this and that, and I at all don't want to promote anything like that. So um, that is pretty much my ramble. And if you guys want to know these things, comment and let me know down below. And, you know, grow with me, change with me, those kinds of things. But until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.